Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what's going on, y'all? We are playing some Pioneer. This is a black-white mid-rangey deck that my friend Bjorn, uh, also known as Be a Kid, also known as uh, my community cupmate from 2014. God, that was six years ago. Holy shit. Where does the time go, man? Where does the time go? All right, that was like more. That was closer to to ten years than zero years. Jesus. This is uh, these are all the lands. We got Castle Lockwain, two blast zones, and Ifner Deadlands, which is interesting. And uh, four temple, three temple of silence, and an Urborg. Nice mana base. Twenty five lands. Four three Raven Inspector, which is great with Doom Foretold. Four Fatal Push, four Thoughtseize, obviously. Yarrox Fenlurker, which kind of acts as Croxa. A two-mana way to get them to discard a card, but it also sticks around and, again, good to Doom Foretold. Oath of Kaya, good to Doom Foretold. Gideon of the Trials, uh, this is a great answer to the Inverter of Truth deck, where you can just play it, make an emblem, and they have to deal with it first. Charming Prince, uh, Exile another creature you control, return to the battlefield. Not bad with Yarox Fenlurker. Also not bad with Gonti, uh, or Cavalier of Dawn. But otherwise, you're just going to be scrying two or gaining three whenever you need it. Nice little utility creature. One Liliana of the Last Hope, three Murderous Rider, three Oath of Kaya. Those are your removal spells. Two Gonti, one Kalidus, four Doom Foretold, which I like a lot. Uh, and then one Ly Lyra and one Cavalier of Dawn are our is our main deck here. We got one Duress, three Damping Sphere. I'm not sure what the Damping Sphere is for. I look. I'm not sure if I love what this what this filter is doing to me right now. That's better. I felt way too saturated. It's a little better. Uh, two Rest in Peace. One Obnixil's Cruelty, which I'm a fan of because it exiles the creature. Two Lost Legacy. One Kunoros. Kunoros? Kunoros? I don't know. Uh, one Ixalan's Binding, one more Kalidus, one Kai's Wrath, one Blood Baron, which I'm also a fan of, and one Thought Distortion. So that is our deck. We're going to try it out. Let's see how it goes. Graph Doggos. That's actually pretty funny. Hey, that's pretty funny. Graph doggos. And now we wait. All right, well, we are still waiting. Two non-full promo packs for prizes, and both of them had a breach. Whoa! Yeah, that's pretty good, man. That is pretty good. Wow, this is a uh, this is quite the wait, guys. I want to pause it until we get to find some matches. Guys, it finally fired. It finally happened. So here we are. We're gonna play first. Sand seems good. I'll keep this. 
We don't have double white, but we do have double black and uh, a little scry action. Cubicon? Oh, we're through the we're through the Cubicon now, my dudes. Interesting. Played that untapped. Are you guys sure you can't hear this cat toy in the background? I'm pretty sure you guys can hear it. I want to find a second white. Which we did. I'll bottom you and I'll top you. Because next turn just playing Gideon the Trial seems good. I hear it. Dang it, cat. He's so... He's, he's so... Oh, what a little biscuit. What are the top two reasons I should go to KubeCon? That's a great question. Jaber, are they going to have cubes there? I heard there wasn't going to be any cubes this year at KubeCon. Can you imagine? I'm going to have to go take this toy from him. I hate to do it, but he's... He's being very loud and playful right now. So I guess we're playing against spirits. Spurts, if you will. I'm getting there with this prince. Prince Ali, I play Gideon, they counter it. I kind of want to just pass. We get to keep up with end. Let's give it a bit of 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 Man, this cat is going ham on this toy, my y'all. The cubes will be as bountiful as the fingers on both of your hands, my friend. That's a lot of cubes, man. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is main phase collective company, so I get to just do whatever I want. Oh, and these all these guys suck anyway. Man, there was no uh, no lords here. You got eight lords in the deck or something like that. Oh yeah, Kurt, I'll definitely, I'll never forget that time we got screwed by the Disney monorail. That was a friggin' adventure, for sure. So all of these guys die to my charming prince, and I'm happy to trade with any of them, so. Monorail. Yeah, we'd been walking around for like, 10 hours that day at Disney. We were all exhausted. My feet were killing me. I'd already stubbed my toe the night before. And we got to the exit and it just started raining. And we were like, okay, so where do we go? And um, the person was like, oh, you want to go this way to the buses? And the buses will take you to the TTC, which is the transport and ticketing counter or something terminal something like that and uh, i was like okay cool let's go so we all go that way we go towards the buses and we get there and none of the signs say ttc um so we're like i don't know none of these these are all just disney hotels the buses just take you to the disney hotels so i have no idea where to go 
so we're like we go back and we're like okay this is not correct obviously so we go to the next dude and he's like oh you actually have to go to the other way you go to the monorail and after you know after a certain time that's when the buses will take you to the parking lot where the ubers are but because it's not that time yet you just got to go to the monorail so we're like oh okay so we go all the way on the other side so the buses are this way the monorail is this way and the ferry is like right in the center of them i guess so we go all the way to the monorail we wait like 15 20 minutes one monorail ever loads up everybody goes we're next in line we're at the front of the line and they put you in the little columns like there's column one two three four so you know which car you're getting on we're like they're gonna go to column two and we're like, ready to go we're standing there so we get on we get our get in the column as soon as the doors open for the monorail we're waiting for they're like oh monorail's broken everybody's got to go back and we're like i'm sorry what and uh we had to walk all the way back and get on the ferry and on the way there i busted i stubbed my toe it was a whole to do man so like we walk all the way to the buses in the rain walk all the way back walk all the way to the monorail in the rain the monorail breaks the exact moment we're gonna get on it walk all the way back to the ferry stub my toe wait for the ferry and then we finally get to the uber and it was such a nightmare it was like everything that could go wrong did let's see if this resolves i bet you have a spell queller Buddy, we were drawing all lands that day. This is not a spell caller. This is a collected company, which I assumed you had, because I always assume they have more than one. Supreme and Selfless Spirit. Okay. Tap my guy. Sounds good. You ain't never had a friend like me. Never had a friend like what? What? That was a little surprising. I would have thought for sure you would have kept the supreme phantom over the selfless spirit, but what do I know? Um, I believe that was the night we ordered a giant pizza. I can't imagine we went anywhere after that. Oh, how nice. Well, they still have to throw a two at Gideon if they want to kill Gideon. Yeah, after that night, we just went we went back to the door, the Airbnb, and we had some pizza delivered and some Seven Eleven delivered. Kerwood is basically a master of uh, what? Of having things delivered. One, two, three. Activate. Still play Thraven Inspector. And you're at four. So you have to block two of these. Oh. Is there a trick? Oh, you have Selfless Spirit. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm trading a Shambling event for a Selfless Spirit. That seems fine.
I'll play another lord. All my lords are in my hand. Look how big my spirits are. Just this guy, huh? And you're leaving Gideon alive? I don't understand this at all. I do know that I'll be making a clue. Well, drawing a card. We already made the clue. The clue has been made. Okay, well. Let's play this. See what we get. Bottom you. Play you. Get a clue. Crack the clue. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, all right. Just attack with Gideon, I guess. Maybe they just block with Spectral Sailor? I guess so. <sighs> wow, it seems good. Five lords in your deck, huh? It's pretty good. Six lords out of eight in the first 18 cards. 33% of the fucking cards you've drawn were lords. Let's go to two, I guess. Oh, wow. Well, you changed your mind, huh? Because <laughs> you realized that was a terrible, terrible decision. If I draw any removal spell, you die. I can't even imagine, like, what we could draw here to get out of, like, four lord, six lord draw dot deck. Mark, what's going on, buddy? Disney was fantastic. Like you do. Oh my god, kitty cat, chill. Just those two, huh? Okie dokie. Oof, Blast Zone would be great on three. For both of us, unfortunately. One, two, three, four. Unfortunately, we're one mana shy of doing this and this. One, two, three, four. Activate, then one, two, three. So it's four. So we go to we go to nine if we kill one of these. It's what, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, that's pretty shitty. Let's bring in one Kaya's Wrath. I don't think Gonti's very good against this deck. Obnixilus of Cruelty, Ixalan's Binding, all the removal seems fine. I got one charming prince. Eh, Blood Baron seems fine, but most of their creatures are blue and it can still be tapped by Nebble Guest. Nebble, Nebble, Nebble. Not gonna work here anymore. A 
like pro white's not bad, but the only like white creature in their deck is like the eagle or like selfless spirit. Yeah, I'll keep this. I saw eagles. They were flying. You have no white sources. I think Collected Company is just worse than the other ones. I do remember Eagle Eye Cherry. Save tonight. Fight the break of dawn. Come tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be gone. That was Eagle Eye Cherry. There's a log on the fire. So they're going to play this one drop, gentlemen. <laughs> yep, that was it. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh, Mausoleum Wander. I kind of want to crack the clue because I think it's more important having a fourth land next turn to play uh, Doom Foretold. Well, that definitely makes it even more important, but at least next turn we can go through an inspector, crack a clue, so we'll have another land. Uh, yeah, Eagle Eye Cherry is much better than Buck Cherry. Buck Cherry was... Buck Cherry was trash. Oh. Well then. They missed the land drop. One, two, three, four. Let's just do them foretold here. I mean, we're going to lose our Thraven Inspector, but then we sacrifice... Then we play another one, and then we get two two things to sacrifice. I'm not too keen on this Aerosmith ACDC kiss. We keep making records till we die strategy. Uh, also Rolling Stones. Interesting to toss this dude out here. Actually, do we just play the other Doom Foretold? Do they discard a card? Yeah, that seems... I'm down with that. So they're going to sack one dude. They're going to... Then they're going to trigger the other one. They're going to scoop here, though. We're never going to be, be able to play two Doom Foretolds. Oh my god, we're going to play two Doom Foretolds. Where'd your guy go? Let's delay Thank you. our misery. 
Oh my god, Badger with 20 gifted subs. What are you doing, my dude? You just appear out of nowhere. Thank you. I didn't even know you were here, man. Badger, thank you so much, dude. Oh my god. Jeez. Thank you. I did just appear. You did. You're like, oh, hey, Frank Streamer, I'm going to pop in and hop Thank over you. on the 20 gifted sub thing like you do. Dude, thank you so much, man. I'm back from Japan. How, dude, how was Japan? I know you I knew you were needing a break there, my dude. We just got back from, uh, from Disney, you. so we both took a little vacations. Japan was incredible. This is what Thank I hear. You. The only thing I'm afraid of is the language barrier when I go, because I'm sure I'm going to go. Thank you. Now I have Eagle Eye Cherry stuck in my head. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Most tourist places you can get by without knowing any Japanese. That's that's what I feel like. I feel like, Frank, we should have gone to Japan instead of this. Yeah, Kerwitz has been trying to get me to go to Tokyo for like a hundred years. It's been one hundred years. Do I crack this? I don't think so. I think we're just gonna keep Thank on you. keep. On. So we know this is their hand still, right? Three white cards. Thank you. But basic phrases, are, yeah, that would make sense. Just learn the basics and you can probably get by. Kerwood actually speaks a good amount of Thank Japanese. You. So I'm sure he'd do fine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mark, you never have the you never have the subscriber luck, my dude. Just fight the break of dawn come tomorrow. Thank you. I, I guess we're just cracking the clue here. I think both our creatures are a little bit better, and I'd rather have the pressure. Besides, I'll just get to draw Thank another you. card when this dies, so. Oh, it's non token permanent. I guess we'll take Fenlurker then. Now I feel stupid. Now I feel great! I mean, worst case scenario, we activate Shambling Vent and sacrifice that. We'll probably be moving there at the start of next year. Oh, that sounds awesome, dude. Oh, that was a good dude. Well, on the bright side, this Doom Foretold is going to likely trigger on their turn. Alright, they got rid of an Eagle. Send me an eagle. Watch this is where they draw white and then they just deputy of attention both of our knights. And it makes me immensely sad. Here we go. Ready? It's nice, nothing incredible, pleasant. Yeah, but sometimes that's all you need. This dog could be real good too. I feel like I like this dog here. Cheese tarts. Ch -ch 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 Cheese tarts. Man. Lactose intolerance sounds just like the worst. Mm. 
I kind of like this herb work here. No, I'm good. You're going to do this cute nonsense. It's bad, but not as bad as racial intolerance. God damn! Oh, another fatal push? I like it. I love it. I want more of it. Um, I got four lands right now, and the highest casting cost of my deck is five, so I'm going to ship that bad boy. I think I just keep up cruelty if they want to do any kind of shenanigans here. Or I can play Thraven Inspector. I think it's actually Thraven Inspector because if we do want to play Doom Foretold next turn. I mean, you just have to do this. You got to quell this. Yeah, there you go. You need the body on the board. Put the bodies on the board. Looks like we made it. I assume you're going to have another queller for this. So this blast zone is going to be nice. We're going to go black. Oh! Tokyo is too full on for me. That sounds like my experience. It's like living in Manhattan, I would imagine. Push you <laughs> yeah, the two fatal pushes. That's exactly what my draw was like. I want to take you for granted. <sighs> so wait, we just get to kill this guy? And then we get to get our own guy? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That seems good. Happened in one game, I think this I had this week. My friend was playing Esper Control and I was playing Mono Red Prowess. Why were you playing Mono Red Prowess, Mark? You're better than that. I had him at five life. He had Jace the Mind Sculptor and Big Tefri on the field saying something along the lines of, it's over, you won't come back anymore. Yeah, I mean, those are good cards. He didn't know that I had two Wizards Lightning in hand and a Lava Dart. I was planning to cast at these ends, but then he suddenly went for a Kaya spell to gain life. I responded with, oh god, is that the end of the story? There has to be more. Let's get down. Oh my god, this is so suspenseful. I responded with, oh God, he's, 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 he's writing more. All right. I'm just going to pass here because I want to keep up Ob and Murderous Rider. Wait, they didn't have, I responded with a bolt. He, okay, I take it, go to two. And then I went Lava Dart. You only had four mana up being one of fetch. He cracked it and cast Cryptic Command, counter draw. Then in the middle of the spell, he looked at his hand, then to the stack, then at his hand again, then at the life dice. I can see his face like, 
Oh shit. Realize that I have flashback for free. Then I flash it back one more to finish you off. He went, dang it, I'm dead to this 10 cent spell. Oh my god. That's so satisfying. Oh yeah. You got a discard. This deck is also fun with this Doom Foretold, man. I'm a fan of this card. Dude, winning with Lava Dart when your opponent has Teferi and Jace on board. That's like... That's some top tier memeing right there. Thank you. Frankonic Disciple, welcome back. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Badger, thank you again for the for the 20 subs, man. You are a champion. How many subs are you up to, bro? 560. <laughs> yeah, that's a real thing. That's a real thing. Alright, so... Do we just play another Doom Foretold? One, two, three, four... I guess we'll attack first. Could have played a land first, but I don't know if I want to play Temple or not. Neville Gast Herald? Old Nebbly. The problem with Doom Foretold is it's going to come back to us and then we're not going to have a creature to sacrifice. Imagine losing to a free one mana red spell. God damn, that's a fucking that's a that's a deep cut right there, dude. Wow. That was a solid reference, my dude. My history teacher told me a story about how there used to be good money in metalworking, just punching holes and fastening pieces together. It was riveting. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to put another charge counter on this bad boy. Oh my god, I was literally going to say Thraben Inspector one time. Do so I have one card in hand? Play Deadlands uh, just because we can draw the card. And I will. No shambling vent here, though, so I can't actually act. If we if we lose the Thraben Inspector, two cards in hand. All right. bottom that one all right let's nothing at instant speed oh yeah triggering going off make a dude draw a card did all the things can you gift me an unsub after that last joke shut up and take my money <laughs> wow Oh, Lewis Scott Vargas. Did someone say gunshot? Oh, Jesus. It's so it's so tragic. Thanks, Lewis. Well, I will. Well, I will. I want to take you for granted. Now I have push stuck in my head. Thanks a lot, guys. Nerds. Oh 
won't get you. I hope they play Spell Queller. Dang it. They never play Spell Queller. Rattle Chains. You can rattle my chains. Rattle my chains. Who's your target himself? Sure. Sure, my dude. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can just play this guy. I went to the store to get eight cans of Sprite. When I got home, I realized it only picked seven up. Wow, Jesus God. Oh, they're so bad. How do you... You have to have a website, right? There's no way you've memorized all of these terrible dad jokes. A combination of books, sites, and friends. Okay, so maybe you just have a sizable repertoire of dad jokes in your arsenal. I can... I'll take... I'll take three and draw a card when I'm this far ahead. Oh, Ixalan's binding. To who? Three. We really just get to eat that guy? Well, that's strange. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow, my, my dude. Oh, Badger, <laughs> I guess it only makes sense for you to sub yourself, right? Thank you. Thank you, dude. You are awesome, man. I appreciate your support. I made some fish tacos last night, but they just ignored them and swam away. Fish have no respect. Put some respect on my name, fish. I guess we'll just go one, two, three, one, two, th and one, two, three, and I'll make sure one of them is black. This is a grindy match. We have seven minutes. They have eight minutes. All right, so we're not too far behind. One, two, three, Gideon of the Triales. If I could tap these manas correctly, we'd be in better shape, though. I'll make an emblem. Pioneer Brews immediately format staple Yarax Fenlurker. That was a heckin' lie. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Sometimes you gotta get them with the Yarax Fenlurker and the Doom Foretold. She's lump, she's lump, she's lump, she's in my head. Lump sat alone on a buggy marsh. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. She might be dead. She's lump, she's lump, she's lump, she's in my head. Hopefully this is game three because I don't think we can I don't think we can swing a game four my dudes she might be dead
I'm going to take my Kalidus and play him. What are you going to do about that? Probably scoop up your car. All right, that should be the match. We are good at this game. All right, let's keep it going. I think, are we 2-0 or 1-0 with this deck? I think we're 1-0, right? Other game against same dude, both at the top deck mode. Esper control, do it to life. I pull a G2 Lava Runner from the top, throw it at the table. He went, dang it, I'm dead to the 10 cents again. That's why I keep playing this deck. <laughs> All right, so G2. So I guess your opponent only loses to, to cards with Lava in the name. Whether they're Lava Darts or Lava Runners. Oh, Esper Doom Foretold. L little little Tefs? You can bounce your own Doom Foretold with that guy. I don't know if you'd want to, but you can. Let's see if we can find our record for tonight. Our total record. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, seven. We're seven two tonight, which is pretty good. So yeah, it looks like we only played one match with this guy so far. Oh, did it have the treacherous? Uh, the draw three one. Treacherous blessing, because that card's real sweet. Then not only do you stop taking damage, but you... Man, I'd love to see a list for that if you had one. Remember that time that our opponents never showed up for our Pioneer matches? Guys, I'm going to pause this and then I'll come back when someone shows up. Well, for those of you watching, we finally did get a game against Badger himself. RPG Badger, otherwise known as Jay Wolf, will be our Pioneer opponent. Like I said, he's playing some kind of shenanigans, I bet. What did you call Pioneer in the beginning? Peener? Because of the abbreviation PNR? I also called it Frontier for a while when I was making mistakes. Pilgrim. No, it was Frontier, right? Frontier. Yeah. Get in there. But Frontier was an actual format that that went away really quickly. Well, that's rude. So much inspecting. Totally going to crack the case here, guys.
How did Mike B get his trash can from under the sea to Utah? Trash can in the Salt Lake has a works ring to it. It's true. It's true. He actually just floated it on over. I knew he was playing elves. God, he's so predictable. Oh, that guy's dead. Well, that guy's fine. I'm tempted to just put Blast Zone on too, to be honest with you. I need a hero. Five cards in hand, huh? That's a good amount. Do I want to do this? No. It's the children who are wrong. You'll be a woman soon. What if I did this? Do I get them all? Oh, yeah. It's like Pokemon. Gotta catch them all in the trash. <gasps> oh, that's a guy. Oh, biscuits. Did you ever the guy that stole the tires at the police station? The cops were working tirelessly to find him. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh boy. Oh, biscuits. Yeah, that's a yikes for me, dog. Let's get rid of this guy so that we. We want to get rid of one of these guys with the doom foretold. Oh, yeah, I'll just keep that. Seems good. I need a hero. Oh, that's going to flip, isn't it? God dang. Is this an elf or is she a human? Elf scout. That's crazy. That's just wild, man. That's just wild. Okay. Well, I'm taking five here. Uh... 
Oh god, don't know the collected company. Okay, so they're gonna sack both their things. We're gonna sack one, and then we're probably gonna lose the other, but. Oh no, we sacrifice. Let's sacrifice the shambling vent. Oh, non land, non token. We can't do that. That's hard. <sighs> That's tricky. Alright, so first one, sack you. Sack you. Oh boy. Well, we're definitely playing that because they're both going to trigger. Theoretically. And they got to discard their cards too? Badger! Well, they were just lands. That's not exciting. There's a lot of Steel Leaf champions that we're forced to deal with. I think we still win here. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. All right, so it blocks here. It takes five. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All right, Elves Arena, Kaya's Wrath. None of these are very good. Thoughtseize is all right. Liliana's good. This guy seems fine. Take out the Gontis, perhaps? Perhaps, perhaps. I like Cruelty because it deals with the 'd like this hand more if it had a second land this hand is great though um I think we'll just ship charming Prince this is a nice easy turn one turn two turn three that land war elf has got to go hey hey ch -ch oh. fatal push that dude into the trash can. So the problem with this is like I don't want them to play second turn Steel Leaf Champion because we actually have no way to deal with that. We have no way to trigger Fatal Push as a Revolt. So. What did we get rid of? A forest. Um. This actually seems like a fine trade. I don't feel like we're in a position where we're going to pump that guy as much as we want to. Okay. Gideon of the Trials. Wish I had a third white source here.
Also white Urborg. Werborg. Well, that's rude. Because, of course. The Borg? Well, we're not trying to get assimilated here. Well, that guy's big now. Actually, do we just let Gideon go to one here? Doom foretold off the top. Thought sees when they have no cards in hand. That is worse. Ooh. Get him. All right, so we're going to actually draw a card during our upkeep. Um, I'm going to block it. Got him. We didn't draw it in our upkeep. We forgot. I think that's a concede. I think that was just a misplay. Kalidus. Very far. I can't tap any of my lands. Now I can. Kalidus. I was going to activate. I was going to activate Gideon and then I forgot to do it. I'll just make an emblem. Oh, got him. 
Badger, good games, my dude. Do I make any changes? Um. Not really. I was wondering, I was like, does he have any tricks? I don't think so, because he doesn't have any cards in hand. I could tell you, I was, I could tell you were like paused for a second and you were like, oh no. <laughs> oh man. Thank you for jumping in the queue though, man. Really appreciate it. Oh. I wish I wasn't tired. Dude, this move has killed me because this move combined with the, um, the recent trip to Disney has utterly like kind of like refreshed my sleep schedule because now like um i feel like i get tired around 12 and 1 and i wake up around like 9 or 10 and it's like just completely different from going to bed at like 4 or 5 waking up at 12 1 my travel cat stick is almost done that seems pretty sweet i hope it's good I don't know why the uh, Pioneer queue is so slow, but I'm going to pause it once more and come back when we have a match. Guys, we did it. We hit the jackpot. I'll keep this hand. Voriclex? Vor Vor Voriclex Reborn? Do they spell Vorinclex? There's an N in Vorinclex, if, if I'm not mistaken. I was not mistaken. Who's Vorinclex with no N? That's weird. That's just like a character they made up. <sighs> oh, a little Elvish Mistaku. Chlorophyll, more like Borophyll. T -t -t Today, Junior. Uh, I'm just gonna play this guy. Oh, Tamiya seems good against Doom Foretold. Doom Foretold seems sweet, though. What is... Huh. Well, that's a thing, I guess. I guess we'll play this murderous rider whenever they play and then kill their two one drops. That seems about on par. If you win, I'll sub. Oh, that's pretty hilarious. Who 
We can work at night by night. I still think it's best to... Well, maybe not now. Put this on two. These guys are definitely more useful on board. So... Yeah, Doom Foretold actually looks pretty rough here. That's not my alternate account, if you're wondering. It looks like it have previewed on CFP. Interesting. But the problem, is, Mark, the problem with letting them overextend is that you want to get rid of their mana sources now. Like, I want to cut them off mana right now rather than, like, let them use the mana and then kill their guys. However, it's looking pretty good on two right now. This does not seem like a situation where I'm looking for a second Doom Foretold. Just one. Are they convoking? Interesting. I have l <laughs> lumps sat alone on a buggy marsh. Totally Martian and exam for a heart. This looks like a kind of a court of calling for one. Okay. Sure. Do they need a fourth land? Yeah, I was thinking they had collected company and they just wanted the fourth land, but I also think their odds of drawing another land are also relatively high. So I guess we can do it now. And that gives us a decent Cavalier of Dawn target. Or they don't do anything. That was interesting. All right, let's see if we can keep the train rolling long enough. Cord for two. Yeah, okay. Cord for one again. 
This is all very fascinating. Ditch an elvish visionary, I assume. Oh boy. Okay, so they did have it. Okay. I mean, it's not the not the best collected company, but it is going to make us work for this doom foretold. Sack another elvish visionary. My gardener's name is Dyra Lawnbringer. Wow, that's actually that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Come at me with this guy. No? Alright, well now we're going to get rid of this guy. That was a pretty good draw because now we have one more trigger. I'm actually probably going to kill a clue to make a 3-3 a three -three here. I don't even like Cavalier. I don't think Cavalier is that great. But I'll, we're also playing it right now against a deck that's not going to have many good targets for it. Like, I'm not too worried about Steel Leaf Champion. I think I'd rather have a second creature on board. They have five cards in hand, though. Like, that's a lot. So I assume this is either Court of Calling number three or Collected Company number two. And it's Collected Company number two. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if they stack them correctly. They did. So we take six. That's fine. We have Lyra. I assume they're sacking Dwin. Now they're going to sack Elvish Visionary here. Yep, that seems fine. We're going to sack Thraben Inspector. I mean, if they go Collected Company, never. Oh, we just win. Okay. Interesting. I guess because if this. I don't know. I think Lyra is just pretty strong, I guess. So I'll bring you in. I don't think we care about Gonti in this matchup. Doom Foretold is also kind of a little iffy as well. The rest seems good because they have Cord and Collected Company. I tried to move my modern elves to pioneer elves, did not enjoy it. Yeah, it doesn't have Heritage Druid or Nettle Sentinel. How many lands would he run? Um 
probably 19 to 20. Probably 19 to 20. Warm smell of Kalitas rising up through the air. The one thing I like about Lyra, yes, you can swing into her. What is a little man? You wanna come back up here? Oh. Hello, little man. What are you doing? Playing magic with your dad? Sorry guys, it's cat stream now. What are you doing, Chase? Hmm? You wanna get down? You wanna be facing into the microphone? Okay. Good seeing you, little man. Always a pleasure. Um, I don't think Gideon's great in this matchup. Hunter's a little harder to get on stream because he's a bigger he's a bigger boy, but he does actually come up to the like his height. He's tall enough to be seen on camera. Oh, hi, my love. Katie, my dear. Mark, I actually played against Inverter the very first round I played tonight. Round one. And uh, we lost. So. No! Dislike. Oh man, you took my fen lurker? Shoot. I'm just gonna draw another one because that's how it works. I had to spend 60 bucks on thought seizes today. Like now. <laughs> wow. Alright, well, two cards to five cards, even though four of mine are lands. Let's scry. Okay, it is going quite well. Quite, quite well.
Ah, uh, I want to bottom both of these. The thing is, if we take the Thoughtseize, and if they have, they're going to untap with four mana. So if they have collected company, they're just going to play it in response. Okay, something good. Hey, that's pretty good. Shut him off. This is where they go. Elvish clan collar. And then I'm like, biscuits. Oh god. Okay. Kaya's Wrath. No blocks. Well, we need another white source. Turn around, Gideon. Don't draw anything good, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. What if I made an emblem and then I go Cavalier of Dawn to destroy the emblem and then I can make a 3 3? Can, can you imagine if that was a thing you could do? Okay, that's pretty sweet. This is very much a top deck war. Man, there's a bunch of noises going on upstairs. I don't know what's happening at nearly 2 a.m. <laughs> Get him. Thank you. <gasps> oh, my God. Katie, you finally resubbed. I love you, too. Thank you. Oh, my God. I never thought I would. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, my God. What a time to be alive. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, my dear. To be fair, his doom was foretold. Sounds like they're moving furniture up there. Pop, pop. That's magnitude from uh, community. Man, I also hope to see me win something big in the near future. 
Maybe it'll be this Pioneer event that I'm planning on Saturday. We'll see. Either way, thank you guys for watching. We're going to end it here because it's about an hour and a half and I want to keep it at a digestible length. But uh, yeah, this is the deck. Like I said, it was created by Be a Kid, otherwise known as Bjorn, uh, who was with me at uh, the Community Cup. He's also the owner and uh, creator of Svenska Magic, which is a sweet Swedish magic site. And uh, Software Elves, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, my dude. And uh, I think the deck was pretty sweet. I, I do feel like we want more things to go with these. There were several times where I was like, I don't have enough things to sacrifice to like Doom Foretold. I wonder if you could just cut these two and maybe like a Kalidus and just add like one more Fen Lurker and two more Charming Princes or like one more Oath of Kai. Because I think Oath of Kai is just really good. And it's also a card you don't mind sacrificing to Doom Foretold. But um, either way, those are my suggestions. I'm not sure what to do. I also feel like you did want more. Like there's definitely times where you want white because this guy's triple white. I don't think he's, I don't think he's good enough. I think this is probably something he was just trying, but like triple white's kind of actually kind of hard to do because you have a one, two, three, four, five, essentially six swamps and only two planes. And uh, this is actually seven, eight swamps and two planes or, you know, exclusively black sources and everything else is going to get you double. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 15 white sources. So you have to have three out of the 15. I don't know. Maybe that's good enough. What about Sun Titan? Is Sun Titan legal? I don't think any Titans are legal in this in this crazy format. Otherwise, uh, might be a little ridiculous. But thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons on YouTube or uh, follow or subscribe over on twitch.tv slash Frank Lepore. You can also subscribe for $1 to $2 a month on patreon.com slash Frank Lepore, which is a great way to support the channel. You can check out mandatraders.com. If you want 20% off the first three months of any subscription, use the link and promo code right down below. And... Uh, you can also check out CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday for new articles from yours truly and use promo code FRANK5 to get 5% off. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, guys. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.